there was far too much stuff announced today for me to finish up this computer build over here if i do not talk about all of this stuff today i am going to get so far behind on interesting topics right here new amd ryzen 5700x 3d tested in gaming is now available for all of you to purchase and this right here got gaming benchmarks for you guys it says 525 396 it is i, I mean I'm, I'm trying to like recognize the game but we're let's be honest we're we're comparing this anyway let's let me just let's be honest right now we're just comparing it to intel you know what i mean because I mean, anything with AMD and Intel put together, it's just a battle. So here's the actual specs and like lots of numbers for you guys. So the 5700X 3D right here is 3.0, 4.1 gigahertz, 105 watts. And then we got the 5800X 3D up here. So it's pretty similar. Um, it's about four gigahertz slower, but anyways, this right here, just a quick update on the call of duty. There's a, there's the, the new season is out. I don't play call of duty, but I know that this is a super popular game. And, uh, I just wanted to share this with you. Arise call of duty Warzone. I, and the reason I, I'll be honest, with you, I'm not going to lie. The reason I don't play this game is because your boy's like at it. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it just as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. V Color launches Manta DDR5 Xfinity M Power memory up to 2 times 24 gigabyte DDR5 at 8,400. <laughs> that is fast RAM, bro. CL40, though, unfortunately. Um, so, if, if dude, if this was 8,400, like, CL 30 if that's even possible <laughs> well let's, let's speak fair let's put it to like 34 CL 34 or something bro that would be nasty that would be sick dude I'd like absolutely grab that but overall that's really all I need to say preparing AMD 690e pro WS workstation motherboards and workstation motherboards means like creative stuff and just that kind of stuff for those of you that are wondering that's really all i need to say about this um it there wasn't like much that went into this article uh it just it was just an announcement that there's a new x690e motherboard at quest headsets now support spatial video playback ahead of the vision pro launch ever like messing with them and never ended up happening but anyways you guys can see the um, what this basically is in that part. So NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 Super Founders Edition PCB has fewer power phases than the RTX 4080. Now, I do want to say something and clear something up the other day when I said I did not understand the negativity and hate towards NVIDIA. Dude, I'm not saying that I agree with what NVIDIA is doing. I love AMD CPUs, but when I said that and it's it's kind of pointless for me to even do this right now because everybody's gonna have their own opinion dude i love amd cpus i've built so many computers with amd cpus and to be fair they kind of outperform intel you know what i mean i like intel personally because of the extra features that they have in obs that they have in all of the adobe programs and just the, the, like having right, right now dude i got a fan blowing on my camera right now my PC fans over there. I can hear them blowing. My fan in my kitchen for air. I can hear this all. Do you hear anything? This is unedited audio. This is literally Intel's AI stuff for OBS. It's pretty cool, right? AMD doesn't have that. I create content. I like that feature. I don't want to have to edit audio every single time I make a video. I would much rather have a AI do it for me with Intel. You know what I mean? And then, so that's why I prefer Intel. And then if we're talking about graphics cards, Adobe crashes nonstop. Cinema 4D crashes nonstop. If you have ever attempted to use an AMD graphics card, video editing on the create or, or doing anything on the creative side, Photoshop, Lightroom, all of that stuff, dude. Unreal Engine. There's a massive difference between a 7900 XT or whatever one it is, dude, and a 4090. Huge difference. Huge price gap as well. Absolutely. But that was my point the other day. 
Nvidia is not targeting budget gamers. That's not who they are. They are a business dude. Look at Apple. Look at what Apple does. $5,000 computer. If that was an Apple computer, dude, that would be like 50 grand. Nvidia launches the RTX 3056 gigabyte that doesn't have a power connection, which I thought was pretty cool. And I'm happy to start seeing this more frequently. Um, Asus also has a 4070. I'm pretty sure that's going to be coming out. That's going to be cableless, and I'm pretty excited for that. But MSI, actually, the so the for the graphics card. Or hold up, I'll show you guys. Look at this. I think that this came. This is going to look pretty cool. And then when we we finish up this computer build, I do want to say that all I did was install the motherboard. That's all I did, and also the power supply. And then I also connected one of the CPU units to the motherboard because you gotta plug in that cpu power thing before you install the aio but i haven't i haven't screwed down the aio but other than that everything is going to be a full guide on the computer build i don't think you guys want to watch me screwing stuff um we're in 2024 so that 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 might be different so anyways let's come down here i feel bad dude i feel so bad for this guy man. All right, boys, I went on for a very, very, very long time there, so I'm definitely going to be cutting that out. Overall, so the, po the point I wanted to share this, man, is because this guy is like, look, he's like, he was in a wheelchair to help him get around. Now he walks around on a cane. He had a bunch of stuff, like, go wrong with him, dude. And, like, look at him, man. He's just, like, this guy. He's an old gamer. And, like, I'm not saying that piracy is okay, bro. I'm not... I'm not saying that you should be allowed to just go ahead and, like steal stuff but <laughs> i don't know dude sending the guy to jail and now he's struggling to pay his rent and like he can't do anything because of nintendo i just think that that's super messed up and i just i feel bad for the guy so anyways cyberpunk themed god 88 mini pc features a ryzen 7 88 45 hs display port 2.1 and then rgb fan dude that's like the mini pcs are like pretty i i'm excited for mini pcs dude because the other day when we reviewed that other one over there i can't believe that thing performed as well as it did dude i just yes 720p but dude just the fact of a computer for 150 dollars can run grand theft auto 5 can run call of duty that's nuts um but anyways i think this looks pretty cool i think that's sick it looks sweet but and then this is a Cinebench score. I think this is really cool. But and then the next one is Cyberpunk 2077. 2070. What do you guys say? 2077 or 2077? Let me know what you guys say. Patch adds performance core prioritization mode for CPUs. Um, that's really all I need need to say. Uh, there was a massive update. I don't know. It was either. It was like two days ago i think it was a massive it was like 50 gigabyte update huge but yeah boys it's gonna bring us to the end of the video i am gonna finish up this computer there was just a lot of cool stuff that i wanted to share today this is the first thing i do in the morning is i check out video cards this is the first website i go to and then i open up google and check the news and then whatever else continues popping up and pleasuring me i just i i get like stuck in this cycle of looking stuff up and uh i just wanted to share the stuff that i was gonna read myself and uh i don't know let me know what you guys think about that, that the the ram and that motherboard that's insane dude 8400 megahertz that's crazy like i wonder at what point it's gonna stop but i'll catch you guys in the next one peace